Okay. We're going to start sharing the screen. Um, we're going to do it like that. Yes, sir. All right. So now you should see my screen. All right. Slide show. From the beginning. Okay. We're in there like swimwear. Everybody, thank y'all for coming. I appreciate that, no doubt. I appreciate y'all taking your time out of your busy day. Probably got kids someplace need to get fed and stuff like that, <laughs> you know, because this is that time of day. But uh, thank y'all for coming. Today we're going to talk about how to get $250,000 and business credit for your EIN that's not linked to your social and easily get business loans and credit lines. How about that? All right. Okay. My name is Noel A. Booker Sr. I'm the CEO at Business Credit Builder. And what we do at Business Credit Builder is we help businesses build up their business credit and access funding. And that's even if you're a startup, you lack collateral and have poor personal credit. We can still make it happen to get that PPP. <laughs> All right? Okay. Um, Peachy, are we stuck on the first slide or, or is it moved to the second slide? Okay, so um, on the slide you're supposed to see right now, um, you can see my contact info with the telephone number and my email address. If you don't see that, let me know by typing something in the chat room or opening up your mic. Okay, we good, we good, all right. Now, you can also see that there are three buttons there. The first button, the blue button, is, is the how to get a free business credit consultation. That means you can, we can talk about your business, see where you are with your business now, find out where you want to go with your business, and we can plot out a plan on how to get there, right? And we can talk about my pro the programs that I offer, all right? Now, during this presentation, this is not like a sales presentation, even though I do sell the items to help you facilitate what I'm going to teach you. But in a sales presentation, they just teach you just enough so you can buy the product. But with my presentation, I'm going to teach you all the steps that you need to know to build business credit. Okay, you won't need me. You can do it on your own, all right? I'm gonna show you the steps. I'm gonna show you the steps to get it done. I'm trying to admit some people in here. All right, Moto, take notes. Y'all can take notes as well, all right? Take as many notes as you like, and once I get started, we're going to be popping off the chain. So we're going to be going fast, right? And um, so there'll be intervals where I will ask you if you have questions and you can open up your mic and ask the question or you can just type it in the chat box and I'm going to eventually get to that chat box and answer everybody's questions. And I do better when y'all interact with me, right? But we are going to be going fast, all right? Okay, let's see what we got popping here. All right, everybody, let me just give you some background of who I am. My name is Noel A. Booker, senior. I'm from Queens, New York. I came to Atlanta, Georgia to go to Morehouse College. I studied accounting, and when I graduated, my first job was with the Ritz Carlton Hotel Company. Okay. I worked there a few years and then they laid me off. You know how the routine goes. Then I got another job, they laid me off. But you know how that goes. Um, 
but I've always been entrepreneurial. And I started a company called MediaNet USA Incorporated. And what we do is at MediaNet, we do um, bookkeeping and accounting for small businesses. We build websites for small businesses. And now we talk about business credit, okay? And how I got to talk about business credit is I got a, I got a client named Jay. Jay has a freight company, right? So I'm doing accounting at Jay's freight company. And he also had me doing websites for his companies and his clients' companies, right? So I noticed every time I did a website, $250,000 hit the bank. So one day I said, Jay, I need to make some money. He said, this is what you do, right? I asked him, I actually asked him, what can I do, right? How could I help? How could I be down? This is what he did. He said, find a company and we could do a deal with this company and you can make some money with the deal. I said, all right, let's run it. So I found my boy named Philly Phil. Philly Phil got a company that he's just sitting on, right? He's not doing anything with this company, right? So I told him what I was seeing. Philly Phil said, all right, let's run it. So I made the website for Philly Phil's company, just like I did for Jay's other companies, right? The contact information all straight. Six months later, we walked into Chrysler and we walked out of there with four brand new vans. <clears throat> four brand new vans, no credit check, no socials, none of that, right? Brand new. And we run those vans on Amazon now. So I know business credit works. That's how I figured out it actually works. But Jay never told me about business credit and how he was making this happen. Okay, he wasn't telling me. So I had to go do some research. And I found a company that taught me everything I know about business credit. And now we offer business credit building services and we access, we have, we give you access to loans and credit lines, all types of financing for your business that you would never even know exist. Okay. So what we do is, um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, back up. Let me read this. Let me read this. I'm going, I'm going before the slides here. Okay. Um, what we will cover today, how you can get business credit within seven days or less that's linked to your EIN, not your social, even if you're a startup or have bad personal credit now. Then immediately start using it to get the credit you want and need, even from major sources like Target, Walmart, Staples, Lowe's, Visa, MasterCard, and more. How you can get access to loans, even as a startup, have credit challenges, or lack collateral. Many people fail trying trying to get money and grow their business. <clears throat> Most people try to get money from the bank when they need money. Bam, not the move. Most people don't know that EIN credit can be built regardless of personal credit quality. Many apply for credit in the wrong order. Many entrepreneurs don't know that money is available based on strengths, on business strengths, okay? One thing I want to say about business credit is building business credit is a step-by-step -step process and you cannot skip a step. Each step that I give you is needed for the next step. Comprende? Comprende. This seminar is for you if you are looking for money to start or grow a business or you want to build credit that's not linked to your social. Okay. What is business credit? Well, let's figure out what business credit is. Business credit is credit that is obtained in a business name. With business credit, the business builds its own credit profile and credit score for its EIN number. This credit is in the business name and based on the business's ability to pay, not the business owner's ability to pay. The business can qualify for revolving store credit cards like Staples, Lowe's, Sam Club, Costco, and more. Business credit has no effect on your personal credit. 
um, no personal guarantee is required to build business credit. Building, bu building credit, business credit building is fast, fast as hell. Anyone can see your business credit reports. They don't have to ask you permission to look at your business credit reports. With business credit, you have greater borrowing ability. No collateral, cash flow, or good credit is needed to build business credit. And with business credit, you can access loans and credit lines. Okay? Every successful business in America has business credit. That is how, this is how business is done with business credit. Okay, what you see now is what anybody can see for free about your business or any other business, okay? You would go to the Experian website and there's a place on the Experian website to put in your business name and the address. And this is what you can find. This page is for Facebook Incorporated. They're in Menlo Park, California. And the part that I want to bring to your attention is the trade lines, okay? The trade lines. Because the trade lines is the basis for building business credit, all right? So I'm going to explain what a trade line is so that we are all on the same page. Because I don't even want you to go further if you don't know what a trade line is, all right? So just so that we're on the same page, right? This is what a trade line is. You go to a company, they give you a, an account where you can buy things on credit, right? Okay, so when you buy something on credit, you got the item, you didn't pay for it yet. Then eventually you're gonna pay for this item, right? You pay for the item. And what happens when you pay for this item is this company sends a report to the business credit reporting agencies. The report says, XYZ company has an account with us. Their limit is such and such a dollars. And they purchased an item and paid for it in X amount of days, okay? So that's a report going to the business credit reporting agencies. They receive it and they put it on your credit report. And that young ladies and gentlemen is one trade line. Does anybody have a question on what a trade line is? I'm gonna take this moment to make sure you can handle that right there. Let me know if you got, if you know, if you have any questions on what a trade line is. Because like I said, this is the basis for building business credit. You got to know what a trade line is. All right. Okay. Let's see anything that's in here. Okay, no questions on what a trade line is. So we're gonna go forward. Okay, you see this page here? This is Microsoft. Microsoft has 131 trade lines. You see that? And Walmart, 80% of all of Walmart's money that they take in comes from business credit, okay? And this is how they do it. They go to Bounty. They say, Bounty, let me get a truckload of toilet paper. The owner of Walmart does not go in his pocket. He doesn't even call up the accounting department and says, let's cut this check for Bounty. No, it don't happen like that. The truckload comes with the toilet paper. They put it on the shelf. We buy it. And then they take our money and they pay the bill. Bounty says, hey, you did that good. Let me give you five truckloads of toilet paper. And that is how business is done with business credit. At the big corporate level, 
And at the small business level, the corner store, for instance, at the corner store, the, the bread delivery comes in. They're not paying for that bread. They're not going in to register. They're not writing the check. They're counting how many units come in and how many units go out. All right? Business credit. That's how, they, that's how business is done. All right? How we can help. We show you how to make your business credible in the eyes of the lender. Our high-tech software helps you build your business credit to access high limit store credit, business loans, and credit lines. We work with all legitimate types of funding programs that are available today, offering funding through hundreds of investors and lenders through a multitude of different funding programs. Okay? In other words, we set you up properly and we, and we um, have access to the loans to fund your business, okay? So let's get down to business. How do you build business credit, right? All right. Fundability. <clears throat> As a business owner, you may begin to hear the word fundability a lot. It may come from lenders, various media platforms, or your own current creditors. What is fundability? The ability of your business to get funding. When lenders consider funding your business, does it appear to them to be a good idea to make the loan? What do they look at to make that determination? <clears throat> How does a business become fundable? When a lender considers lending to your business, do they feel that you are a high risk? Basically, you know, the companies, when they give you credit, they just want their money back, right? Do you appear to be a business that can and will pay the debt? <clears throat> Lenders are in it for the money. A, po a potential creditor needs to see that your business is legitimate and profitable. Many loan applications are denied approval due to fraud concerns. Others, simply because something didn't match up and threw up a red flag. Maybe the address or the telephone didn't match on a couple of reports and it just looks unprofessional. <clears throat> That's a major thing right there. The name and address and telephone gotta match every place they look at you, all right? If you understand what fundability is and how to get it, you can shut down any such red flags before they cause you problems. The foundation of fundability is how your business is set up. It has to be set up to appear that you're a fundable entity separate from you, the owner. Now, like I said, you have to appear to be able to pay the bill. You don't have to be able to pay the bill. You have to appear to be able to pay the bill. Comprende? <laughs> all right. Now, these are all the things that you have to put together to, in order to um, set up your business properly. Okay? You need a business name a business address, a business phone, a EIN number, a DUNS number, a website, and a business email, okay? These are all the things that you need to set up your business properly in the eyes of the lender, okay? So you have to know what the lender is thinking before you sit down with them and ask them for some credit, all right? And these are the things that they are looking at, all right? <clears throat> so, your contact information. You need a business phone number. What you need is a local number for your business that's listed with 411 National Directory, okay? This is necessary. This is a necessary piece. <clears throat> local number. 
listed with 411 National Directory, all right? A fax number and a toll-free number. That's not so necessary. But like I said, we want to appear to be a business that can pay a bill. So necessary is that local number. If you got a fax number and a toll-free number, then now you're looking more like a business that is credible. All right. You definitely need a business address. There are three options to selecting your business address. The first option is the, to have a brick and mortar, but not everybody can afford that, right? Not everybody can afford a storefront. All right. So the second option is a virtual address, which you can get as low as $50 a month. A virtual address. The third option and the last resort is your home address. There are no other options to selecting your business address. You cannot use a P.O. box and you cannot use a um, UPS address as your main business address. Okay. This is my go-to for, for telephone. Either one of these services can set you up with a local telephone number that is listed with the national directory. Freedom Voice, Ring Central, Vonage. Um, Freedom Voice is my go-to because they'll give you a local number for $9.99 per month and they will list it to the national phone directory for $3 a month. So I figured that I got to at least spend $13 a month, okay, for my business telephone number. And this is necessary, okay? Freedom of voice. You can go to businesscreditbuilder.us slash vendors, and there's a link to Freedom Voice, all right? This is my go-to for virtual address. If you decide to use a virtual address for your business, you can use Da Vinci and you can access the information to order this product at businesscreditbuilder.us slash vendors, vendors. And if you plan to use this on this page, there is explicit instructions on how to order this product. You got to call up a particular person. The number is provided on this page. Vendors. There's a, a telephone number, a person to ask for, and there's verbiage to tell her about the address that you want. Okay? So you have to order this product correctly the first time to get it right. So get it right the first time. All right? The instructions are on that page. All right, Da Vinci Virtual Office Solutions. And they got offices all over the world in every city. What is fundability? The, found, the foundation of fundability, the EIN number. I'm not gonna even talk that much on the EIN number because everybody should know about what that is. But I'm gonna tell you what you need to know. In order to build business credit, you need an EIN number. There's no way around it, all right? And the EIN number is free, so don't pay for it, all right? Do not pay for EIN number, <laughs> all right? Go to irs.gov. You can fill out their little application, take you 15 minutes, and you get the, um, the EIN number, Johnny on the Speezy. That means Johnny on the spot, all right? EIN number. All right, you have to incorporate. This is the most important step of fundability thus far, including your business as an LLC, incorporating your business as an LLC or an S Corp or a corporation is necessary to fundability. It lends credits to your, your business as one that is legitimate it also offers some protection from liability, okay? 
when you apply for your business name, incorporating at the Secretary of State in the state that you are in, they will ask you to select an entity. What you need to know is, in order to separate your business liability from your personal liability, you must choose a limited liability corporation, they call it an LLC, or a corporation. If you choose a proprietorship or a partnership, then you are personally liable for whatever happens with this business. That's what you need to know. Okay. Who's Mike Zoom? Okay, a business bank account. All right? You need a separate dedicated business bank account. This will keep track of your business finances so you can keep them separate from your personal finances for tax purposes. Most vendors and lenders require a business to have a business bank account in order to get approved, okay? Fundable businesses have a business bank account. That's how it goes. Okay, licenses. All right, I'm gonna run through the licenses because this is basic info. If you need a license to operate your business, have a license. But the most common mistake that small business owners do is they have the license, but they have an old address on the, on the, ad, on the license that will get you denied right there. And they don't have to tell you why they deny you, okay? So that's a common mistake, is having an old address on your business, on your licenses or permits that you have, all right? All this information, your business information has to line up correctly, okay? A business website and a business email. Lenders and creditors will deny you if you don't have a website, okay? They're gonna do research on you, all right? Uh, spend time and money necessary to ensure that your website is professionally designed and works well. Your business needs a dedicated business email address. So make sure it has um, the same URL as your website. Do not use any of the free email services. Your email should be your name at yourbusinessname.com. Simple stuff, all right? And this is stuff the lenders are looking at, all right? They don't think that you are credible if you're using a Gmail to communicate with them about your business, okay? That's just how it goes. So don't use Big Booty Judy at Yahoo. All right? And how I got into this business credit stuff is through me doing websites, all right? So my website packages are all inclusive. My website packages include domain registration, 12 months web hosting, website design, monthly updates, unlimited emails, expert customer service, and internet consultation, all right? So you can call me up if you need a website for your business, all right? My website packages are set up so that you're doing business, you continue to go do your business, I'm gonna handle all the website stuff. Get your email set up, right? And make sure you're operating everything correctly. Okay, what is fundability? Business credit reports. Okay, you need to understand the importance of your business credit reports and how to read them. Your business credit reports are the blueprint for tracking your trade lines. We talked about trade lines already, right? Okay, the, the business credit reports, you have to be able to look at your business credit report to know what's on your credit report already before you go apply because they're going to look at your business credit report. They don't have to ask you permission or nothing like that. So you need to know what's on your business credit report. 
all right? Um, Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, and Equifax are the main three business credit reporting agencies. The FICO SBSS is the, is the report that the SBA looks at when you're trying to get an SBA loan, okay? You can go to my website, businesscreditbuilder.us slash reports and 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 uh, you will see the icons for the three main business credit reporting agencies those icons are linked to the respective location on their websites where you can put your business name in and address and you can find out if they have a report for you already and you can do that for any business okay In addition to the business credit reporting agencies that directly calculate and issue credit reports, there are other business data agencies that affect those reports indirectly. LexisNexis and the Small Business Finance Exchange. These two agencies gather data from a variety of sources, including public records. These, this means they could even have access to the information we of relating to automobile accidents, liens, and more. All public information they have access to. And it indirectly affects your business credit reports. While you may not be able to access or change the data the agencies have on your business, you can ensure that any new information they receive is positive. Enough positive information can help counter react any negative information from the past. In addition to the EIN, there are identifying numbers that go along with your business credit reports. When considering what is fundability, you need to be aware that these numbers exist. Some of them are simply assigned by the agency like the Experian bin, okay? The Experian bin is assigned. In contrast, the Dunn's number from Dun & Bradstreet is a number that you must apply for, okay? And the Dunn's number is an identifying number directly related to your address. It identifies your business with your address attached to it, okay? So that when you have applications, they're gonna ask you for your DUNS number, you put your DUNS number and they know where to send the, the business credit report to, okay? Okay, um, what is fundability? Business credit history. Your credit history has everything to do with everything related to your credit score, which is a huge factor in the fundability of your business. Your credit history consists of a number of things, including how many accounts are reporting payments? How long have you had each account? Which type of accounts they are? How much credit are you using on each account versus how much is available? Are you making your payments on these accounts consistently on time. The more accounts you have reporting on time payments, the stronger your credit score will be. Align your business credit, your, align your business information correctly. This is a problem because a ton of loan applications are turned down each year due to fraud concerns simply because things do not match up. Okay? So, you need to make sure you are using your exact business legal name, your business address, phone number, address listed at the IRS for your EIN number, your business, um, your insurance, licenses, website, bank accounts, etc. Okay. 
Is there a question up here? Oops, I already had this class. Oh, CTs, yeah, you had this class. Oh, you missed the real estate one, um, CTs. That was at um, six o'clock. All right. But we'll be doing it again. So just make sure you check out the events page for the different um, ones that we do. All right. Cool beans, cool beans. All right. Um, the key to this piece of business foundation is to monitor your credit reports frequently. When it comes to the business credit reports, you can monitor through the reporting agencies directly or save time with business credit builder .us LLC. So your business credit reports, if you do this on your own, they're going to charge you about $100 per month for your business credit reports for each business reporting agencies. When you do business, when you do, when you build business credit with business credit builder, we provide a service for $25 per month, which includes all three report business credit reporting agencies that saves you some money right there. All right. Okay. Both your personal and business tax returns need to be in order. Not only that, but you need to be paying your taxes, both business and personal. Business financials. A fundable business maintains financials monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Having financial statements on demand lends credence to the legitimacy of your business. Okay? So a fundable business keeps um, financials on deck and ready to go, all right? That's what a fundable business does. Personal tax returns. Often tax returns for the previous three years will suffice. Get a tax professional to, pre to prepare them. This is the bare minimum you will need. Other information, lenders may ask, include check stubs, bank statements, among other things. So my accounting service will help you get these financial statements together, your personal tax returns together. If you need um, bank statements, um, check stubs and stuff like that, holla at your boy. All right. There are several other agencies that hold information related to your personal finances that you need to be to know about. Everyone knows about the FICO score. Your personal FICO score needs to be as strong as possible. It really can affect business fundability and almost all traditional lenders will look at personal credit in addition to business credit. Okay, check systems, you know about that. Um, have you ever had been convicted of a crime? Do you have bankruptcy or short sale, UCC filings. All of these can and will play into the fundability of your business. Now, you can start from scratch and don't have none of this and just, have, and just build up your business credit and access funding, right? But all this other stuff means that you are more fundable. So if you got we build up your business credit, you can still access money. But if you have good personal credit, then you are more fundable. There are more options out there. And that's what I mean by fundability. How fundable are you, all right? Okay, I'm gonna skip over that. But this right here is a chart that explains all the things that is included in your fundability, okay? Starting on the left, you have all your credibility items to make sure that your business is credible in the eyes of the lender. You have what industry you are in, your business name, down to your 411 listing, the time in business, um, your EIN number, your website, email, business license, all that stuff is in the credibility and setting up your business 
to look like you can pay your bill. And on the right hand side, we got your application process, your financial statements, um, the business credit reports, okay? All of this stuff lends into the fundability of your business. I'm gonna stop right now and open up the mic and see if anybody has any questions before we go to the next situation. Any questions on anything we talked about so far? I want you to understand. I want you to be right with me. So you can open up your mic. You can type it in the chat box. You got about 30 seconds to do one of those before we go, <laughs> before we go to the next spot, all right? <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Any questions? No questions? What's up? I think I got some questions. All right, now. This is the time that I ask the questions. I don't ask questions beyond these webinars, so get it. So get it now while you can. Okay. Okay, Go Noel, you said that when they look at, look, when they look at your business credit, they don't actually look at your personal credit, but you just said that you contradicted yourself because you said that they do it. They do look at your personal credit. Okay, let me let me clarify then. Okay, depending on what you apply for, um, they can ask you for a personal guarantor. But in order for them to look at your personal, you got to give them permission. Okay, with business credit, they don't have to ask you permission to look at it. So they're gonna look at your your business credit. In order for them to look at your personal credit, they have to ask you permission and they have to tell you why they deny you. With business credit, they don't have to tell you why they denied you. Did I clear that up, son? Yeah. Yeah. No. All right. Any more questions, Miss Miss Williams? Um, there will be. All right, then I'm counting on it, Miss Williams. All right. Okay. All right. All right. As we proceed, um, oops, what's going on? Where am I supposed to be at? Okay. Now we set up vendor accounts because now what we have done so far is set up our business to be credible in the eyes of the lender. That's step one. The next step is to understand why you need your business credit reports and to understand them, which I told you that, right? So you need your business credit reports so you can trap your trade lines, right? So now you're set up credible, name, address, all that stuff. And now you know the business credit reporting agencies, Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax, and you need access to those business credit reports so you can track your payments to make sure that when you made a payment to a vendor, they, they report it accurately and timely, okay? So now that we got those two things out of the way, the next step is to set up vendor accounts, also known as Net30 accounts. This is where we have to um, find vendors that will give you credit when you have no credit and they have to report to the business credit reporting agencies. And this is a hard step because only 10% of all businesses report because they're under um, strenuous regulations to even be able to report. So this is a hard one. You have to find a vendor that's going to give you credit when you have none, and they have to report. So we're going to get these net 30 accounts. These net 30 accounts means they're going to give you a little bit of credit, and when you buy something, you have to pay off the total balance in 30 days. Hence the term net 30. A business credit report can be started much the same as a consumer report commonly is with small amounts of credit. 
The business can be approved for small credit amounts to help them build an initial credit profile. Um, these types of initial accounts in the business world are commonly referred to as vendor credit or net 30 accounts. And some vendors will approve your company for net 30 payment terms upon the verification of as little as an EIN number and a 411 listing. Okay? I told you all about both of those things. The EIN number and the 411 listing. You need that. Okay? And here is a vendor who will approve you for initial credit even if you have none now. Strategic Network Solutions. Okay? Strategic Network Solutions. You can find out how to set up your account and get a promo code at businesscreditbuilder.us slash vendors. Okay? Mm -hmm. Make sure you use the promo code. All right? Now, Strategic Network Solutions will give you $1,000 credit just because you have an EIN number and your telephone number is listed with the 411 National Directory. Okay? Off the rip, and that means right away, all right? Just, just so you know. <laughs> you know, all right? So now, the thing to know is that there are hidden hurdles, right? And this is important because the hidden hurdles is just mental, right? So when I got my account with Strategic Network Solutions, I found out that they only do net 30 terms on digital products, all right? So I looked through their digital products and I found this thing called the web root. The web root is a virus protection, which you download for your computer and helps out your computer and all that type of stuff, right? So I got my account. I downloaded the, the, the software. Two weeks later, I paid it. And you have to do items at least $50 or more in order for them to report. All right? $50 or more. Okay? So two weeks later, I paid the bill. Boom. That's a quick and easy trade line. So you got to think. See, building business credit is about spending, right? You got to buy something and pay for it. So what you need to do is adjust your spending patterns at home or at your business so that you can use vendors that are reporting to the business credit reporting agencies. So you got to do some thinking, all right? You got to think, what do I need to do to get this trade line? Because they're going to throw you a hidden hurdle, all right? They're going to throw you some little hidden hurdles. And if you're not expecting the hidden hurdles, when they come and hit you, you're going to not get knocked out. You're going to be like, oh, man, stop. let me just get stopped. This, this thing is too much for me. But if you understand, you got to do some thinking, and you're determined to do this, then you're going to just knock it out like the beast that you are. Okay, so you got to know that there's going to be some mental stuff that come your way. All right, with strategic network solutions, it's the digital products, right? So just know that the idea is to get these trade lines on your credit report. That's how we're going to start, that's how we're going to jumpstart your business to have a credit report and to get you a credit score, all right? That's important information, I just thought. A lot of people don't teach that, that teach business credit. And that's something I think everybody needs to know, that you gotta be dedicated up here and think. You gotta use your head some, you know? Okay, so always apply without your social. Some vendors will request it, and some will even tell you on the phone that they need to have it but submit it, submit this application without it. 
okay? You leave the social security number blank and you put in the part where it says EIN number. That forces them to only look at your business credit profile, okay? Now, if you got an application that got a place for the social and there's no place for the EIN number, you got the wrong application, <laughs> okay? That's the wrong application. You need the business application. Make sure you got the business application. The business application is gonna have the part that has the EIN number to put in. Leave the social security number blank. There's no law that requires you to put something in that social security. Leave it blank. Okay, so um, when your first net 30 accounts reports to trade lines to Dun & Bradstreet, the Dun system will automatically activate to, uh, 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 no, no, no. Let me, re, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that right there. What happens with Dun & Bradstreet is this. You got to go apply. Once you got your credibility set up, then you go to Dun & Bradstreet and you apply for your Dun & Bradstreet number. Okay? And then when you have three vendors that report to Dun & Bradstreet, then they give you a Paydex score. They won't give you a Paydex score until three vendors report to Dun & Bradstreet. The Paydex score is what the vendors look at to determine your credit worthiness. The Paydex score goes from zero to 100. If these three vendors that you have sent, that you, that you paid the invoice for, and they sent the report in, if those three transactions are paid on time, the pay that score that they're gonna give you is about a 76 or a 78, all right? And a 70 pay that score is a lendable number. That's a lendable score. That's okay to have a 70 pay that score. But I, I teach my clients how to get an 80 and above. That's where you need to be. Your pay that score needs to be 80 or above. And it's easy to get there. Three on-time payments over there will get you a 76 or a 78. Okay? Pay your net 30 vendor accounts in full and on time. You must be patient and allow time for the vendor's reporting cycles to get in the reporting systems. It typically takes you three cycles, accounting re reportings, to... Um, to build business credit scores. So basically what that means is in three months, you should be able to have five trade lines reporting to your business credit reports, okay? That's the goal for you. Five, five net 30 accounts, three months. You can't do it much, much sooner than that, okay? Because sometimes you got to wait for them for it to go through the cycle, all right? So it's going to take you about three months to get five net 30 accounts. That's your goal, okay? Some vendors will require an initial prepayment order before they can approve your business for terms, okay? You need to have a total of five net 30 pay accounts reporting. That's why I got this card. Check out the card, though. You see, the card got the number five on it. The card got the smoke, right? But look at his face. He's like, yo, I got business credit. We rolling, all right? So that's the goal, five. Any questions on... The net 30 accounts. Any questions? You can put it in the chat or you can open up your mic. Rock and roll. All right. Step four, revolving accounts. 
after five trade lines are established using vendor accounts, obtaining revolving accounts is the next step. Revolving accounts are cards a business owner can use and not be required to pay the full balance owed each month. Now, remember what I said. Business, business credit, to build business credit is a step-by-step -step process. Each step is needed for the next step. There's no skipping steps. So you can't just jump to the revolving accounts, okay? You can't just jump to the revolving accounts because these accounts, they require you to have um, credit already. They're not gonna give you credit straight out the box, all right? Most stores will not approve a business owner for business credit unless the owner has an established credit profile and score, just like in the consumer world. Vendor accounts must be used first to establish a profile and score. Then store credit can be obtained. It usually takes about 90 days or less to establish a score and profile with trade lines, right? I already said that. Now, here goes some revolving accounts you can get. Once you got those five net 30s, then you can go to revolving store credit accounts, okay? Home Depot, Lowe's, Office Depot, Staples, Best Buy, Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, Amazon, Dell, Baffle, BP, Chevron, Racetrack, and there's a whole bunch of them, okay? So for some businesses, this is all they need is like a, 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 a gas car so they can get their truck up and down the block. Or another business might need an Office Depot card and a small line of credit to operate, okay? So another thing I want to tell you is that for business credit, it ain't like you might, you might get a whole lump sum of money, right? Even though you can get loans and credit lines, but you have to look at business credit like this. You have to figure out what it is you need and then figure out how you're going to finance it. Okay? So you might be piecing this thing together. Okay? It might not be a whole lump sum at one time. You got to piece this thing together. Oh, I need a copy machine. Or I need um, gas for my trucks. Or I need supplies that I can get at Best Buy or Sam's Club. I need those supplies, right? Okay, so you might not be one lump sum. You might have to piece it together. Okay, revolving accounts. Um, store revolving accounts must be obtained before the owner can start getting Visa, MasterCard, Amex types cards. Okay? So once you got 10 trade lines, so the first goal was to get five net 30s, right? And then the next goal is to get five revolving accounts so that you can get up to 10 trade lines. You need 10 or more trade lines before you can start applying for business cash loans, credit cards, business credit cards, and and trade in on in credit lines, okay? You need 10 trade lines. Because the idea of this whole business credit thing is when a creditor looks at you, you want to look like you can pay a bill. So in their eyes, if they look at your credit report and they see 10 or more trade lines on your business credit report that you paid on time, now you looking like you could pay a bill. Okay? That makes sense? You need to look like you can pay a bill and you show that by having these trade lines on your credit report that you paid on time. The more trade lines you have, the better your company looks. 
the higher the limits of these trade lines, the better your company looks, okay? Once 10 accounts are on your credit, an owner can then start applying for Visa, MasterCard, Amex types credit. Approval amounts will be equivalent to the highest credit limit accounts on the business report. Try to have 10 accounts with at least one of them having a high limit of $10,000. And how you get a high limit is this. You pick one of those revolving accounts and you use it more often. When they see you made three on-time payments, then you can call them back and ask for an increase in your line of credit. Okay, that's how you get your, the, your limits up. You make some on time payments and you call them and ask them for an increase. I've had like on my, on some of my personal credit stuff, they just increase it when they see no payments on them. Okay, in the initial, it is initial, it, it is essential to keep using the credit keep applying for more, and talk with credit providers to raise credit limits. If you do this, business credit will keep growing until higher limit credit lines are obtained within six to 12 months. So people ask me all the time, how long does it take to build business credit? The general answer to that question is about 12 months. But Everybody does this at a different pace because it's all about, you know, how you organize getting an account, making a purchase, following the invoice, making the payment, following the payment to the, to the business credit reports and making sure your trade line is reported correctly and accurately. Okay. No skipping steps, 10 trade lines, High limit of 10K, cash, uh, cash business credit accounts will match the highest credit limits reported on your credit profile. Um, you get access to MasterCard, Visa, Amex, loans, and credit lines once you have business credit, okay? Any questions about building business credit before we go into where, where, where would you go when you need money? Any questions? Uh, yes, yes. Go ahead. Uh, so your your personal um, credit history uh, doesn't matter when applying to for business credit. That is absolutely correct. When you build business credit, you do not have to use your personal credit. Uh, okay. You don't need your personal credit because you're always going to put your EIN number. Nice, cool. All cool. right. So if you use the steps I tell you then you know you can't go to the revolving accounts without having those net 30 accounts on your report though okay that's what people like to do they like to go to that nice revolving account real quick and skip over the net 30s but you need those net 30s on your credit report first before you can go to the revolving all right and you always put your ein number you don't put your social Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. Here goes the bonus. Three ways to get business, to get funding that your bank won't tell you about because they don't sell this. All right. And I'm going to go over these three real quick. Cause we got about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go over these real quick. Um, and I, I go over these because you may or you may not be able to qualify for these, but you can still build business credit and access funding. But I like to share this information just so you know the, the thought process around funding your business, okay? Because it ain't like straight up and down like your personal, all right? So for instance, cash flow financing. Cash flow financing is the most popular type of alternative funding today. Um, basically, what this is is 
cash flow financing is for existing businesses, all right? In which all businesses c come into situations, right? And they might need to hit payroll this Friday, or they might have a piece of equipment that went down they need to repair or something like that. All businesses run into situations that they need money right away. And this is what they do. These are for existing businesses. They need $10,000 in deposits in their bank account each month. And they can access this money. Easy peasy. All right? The main requirement is that, is that $10,000 in deposits each month. Okay? You don't need to have good credit. All you need is your bank statement. You get funded for this in 72 hours, boom, all right? Now this is high risk to them, so it costs more to get these type, this type of money. But like I said, this is for existing businesses that are in situations, that's what this is for, cash flow financing. The next type of financing is collateral-based financing. Collateral-based financing can be obtained if you have some type of viable collateral to offset what you are borrowing. Even as a startup with bad credit, you can still secure collateral financing if you have collateral, all right? And here goes some types of collateral that you can use. Accounts receivable, um, like my freight company, Jay, right? He used factoring. That's the type of accounts receivable where he had a trucking company and his trucking company does a delivery and they invoice to get paid, right? But they're not going to get paid for 30 days. So with factoring, he sells the invoice and gets his money in 24 hours. Or he'd have to wait 30 days. But he needs to pay his truck drivers and he needs to, um, you know, pay his truck notes, Right? So that's why he needs the money like right away. He ain't trying to wait that 30 days. All right. That's accounts receipt. That's an example of accounts receivable, also known as factoring. Okay. There's also purchase order situ situations where if you got a government contract, right? If you got a government contract, that's like straight up money to the lenders. Because they know that check is good. All right. So you walk into the right lender with your government contract and say, yo, I need this vehicle or this piece of equipment in order for me to get the money from this contract. That's a done deal. You don't need business credit, don't need personal credit, right? But you do need your business set up credible, okay? Stops, bonds, and 401ks. These type of investments stay intact. Like the 401k, for instance, you're still earning interest on this money. And whatever you can pull out of your 401k, you can get a loan for that. Mm -hmm. Okay? You can get a loan for that. Um, and the, the value, the, your, your 401k stays intact, all right? Um, revenue lending, that's like cash flow lending. Those are like advances on revenue that's getting ready to come in, right? Um, inventory and equipment. So if you have over $100,000 in inventory or equipment, you can get a loan on that. If you have equity in your home, you can get a business loan, all right? Um, insurance agents have what they call a book of business. That's their list of clients. So just on the strength of having a list of clients, insurance agents can get a loan. You see? There's also unsecured, unsecured credit. Now, unsecured credit is when you have good personal credit, right? So um, if you have good personal credit, that can help you get to business credit faster. 
and can also get you access to some money, up to $150,000 worth of money, okay? So how that works is this. If you have a 685 or above, then they will look at your personal credit. They will match your highest revolving account five times on five credit cards. For example, if you have a Home Depot card on your personal and that, that Home Depot card's limit is $30,000, we'll give you five business credit cards with $30,000 on it, up to $150,000 total, right? So 30, 30, 30, 30 times five, 150,000 down that way, up to $150,000. And the thing about these cards is that these cards report to the business credit reporting agencies. You get approved from your personal credit but they report to the business credit reporting agencies. Okay, that's the key, all right? So in all actuality, you can skip the net 30 piece, right? Because these cards right here are reporting to the business credit reporting agencies. So you can skip the net 30s, right? But I don't do that. I don't suggest to my clients that they do that. What I suggest is they get these five unsecured cards, and then when they get the net 30s, they pay the net 30s with these five business credit cards. And that, and once they pay that credit card payment, a minimum, the minimum amount paid, then you got 10 trade lines real fast. You see that? That was an advanced one right there. That was, that was the advanced one right there. All right. So this unsecured credit is usually 0% interest for six to 18 months. This is no doc funding. So even startups can qualify for this. Um, accounts report to the business credit reporting agencies and that's crucial, okay? That's a key piece of that. They report to the business credit reporting agencies, okay? We also have other alternative financing methods like we have private funding. Like these are companies that's just sitting on stacks of money and they're looking for a good idea, okay? We also have venture capital and equity financing, which is like Shark Tank, where they give you, they give you money for your business, but then they take a piece of your business. That's what they call equity financing, okay? There's also crowdfunding options that can get people to invest in your business. For if you sell on Amazon, these people will give you money so you can go purchase the items to sell, all right? So you don't have to pay for your inventory. You just getting stuff to sell and you're selling it, all right? And even special, you can even get specialized funding. Remember I said, specialized funding to get equipment, signs, and vehicle wraps. Okay, so remember my, my client, Jay, and I saw that $250,000 hit, right? What that was, was he was getting equipment loans to purchase trucks for his freight company, right? But he was advanced at this, okay? He's advanced. So what he would do is this. He would get an equipment loan to buy trucks for big tractor trailers for his business, right? But he'd have another company set up. This other company would be a truck sales company, okay? So he'll get the approval to buy the trucks and the check gets cut to the truck sales company, which is his own company. So he figured out how to just turn that into a straight loan and he don't even, he don't even have to buy trucks. He just got the money, okay? Now, 
he was just doing this just to keep flipping money. He wasn't even paying the bill. Okay. See, because when they come, when you default on a loan, they only can come for the assets of the business. They can't come for your personal stuff. Okay. So he was just juking the system, <laughs> just getting money. That's how I learned this. But I'm like, he's doing this. It's all legal and everything, but it's, it's not um, moral, right? So what I teach you is how to build business credit correctly. Build up your trade lines. Get the trade lines on your, on your credit report. He's doing the shortcuts. He's doing the stuff that, you know, eh, I don't really want to do that myself. I just want some money so I can operate my business, right? I just want to get my business going so I can do the things I like to do with my business. I like doing my business, you know? So you ain't go to, you don't have to go to work one day if you like what you do, right? So that's my thing. Um, he's like being all smart about it and juking them, right? <laughs> But he got four or five deals like that on the table at any given time, just getting money. Okay? So that's how I knew that this thing, business credit is, can actually work. You just have to know how to work it. All right? You just have to know how to work it to get the money for your business that you need to pay the expenses that you need to operate. So the way I teach you is the real way to do it. And the reason why we don't know about this, but I didn't know about this, okay? But the reason why we didn't know about it is because our people didn't know about it to teach us. See, other cultures have what they call like the bar mitzvah, right? Where when they're a certain age, they get a whole bunch of money from their family members. And then at this appropriate time in their life, they tell them what to do with this money. See, our families, well, my family, they didn't know about this. So they couldn't teach it to me. And I just happened to stumble on this. And that's why I share it to other people, because I think, you know, our people should know about this. See? So that's why I do it. So my people can also pass down to their kids how to do this, this, this funding of business, how to set up business. Now, and I went to Morehouse for accounting, and they never taught me how to build a business, okay? They taught me how to get a job. Because in the capital system, you can't operate the capital system without the employee, okay? So they teach you how to get a job, right? Am I wrong? Somebody tell me if I'm wrong now, all right? Right. right. Okay, here goes another little bonus. The bank credit score, all right? This is how it runs down, basically. This is like a secret banking thing, right? And this only applies if you're going to the bank to get an SBA loan for your business. So you need to have a low five rating at your bank. The bank score. Your bank credit score. The manager at the bank does not know your bank credit score for your business. This comes into play when you fill out an application at the bank for a loan. The manager at the bank takes your application, submits it to the underwriting department. At the underwriting department, they know your bank credit score. And if you got $10,000 in the bank for 90 days straight, then you have a low five bank ready and they're already trying to give you money. Okay? That's just a little, a little tidbit of information that's good to know. All right? Now, we're going to run down my, my plans, right? Well, what you get with the plans first. You get business credit for your business, not linked to your social, through the top selling business credit system. You get access to funding for your business to start build and grow. You get our cutting edge technology that helps you meet credit, credibility requirements before you apply. 
You get access to discounted, um, discounted business credit reports. Remember I told you about $25 per month compared to if you do this on your own. Each business credit reporting agency would charge you about $100 per month. You get free experience smart business access. Large suppliers, we get the largest supplier of starter vendors. The starter vendors are hard to find. The vendors that you need that will give you credit when you have no credit and they have to report. We have the largest supply. You get a massive selection of revolving store credit cards with underwriting guidelines. Hard to find cash credit sources that you can get within 120 days. Um, no personal credit check or guarantee is required to build business credit. You get access to cash flow financing, collateral-based financing, unsecured financing, private money, alternative SBAs, venture capital, right? Now, when you buy into my core package, you get a control panel, and the control panel looks something like this, right? You get a button on the left-hand side. This is my reseller account, so it's not going to have all that buttons, right? But your button would have one that says, um, my um, bill business credit. And you go in, and it'll give you your course of content. And when you go in, each step that you need to take, in the order that you need to take it, every single detail that you need to know to build your business credit. Each step will give you instructions on how to complete the step. Each step will have a video to explain to you how to complete the step. And if you still can't figure it out, there'll be a person that you can call or email to help you figure out this next step, okay? Now, when we get to the part where we're gonna do vendors, right? We build credit in four stages or four tiers of vendors. Each tier, we will give you about 15 vendors and we'll say, pick three. And this is the information that you get when you see the vendors. It'll give you all the information you need to know about the vendor, who they report to, what type of terms that they will provide you, the telephone number, the fax number, a description of what they sell. They'll also tell you how you can qualify before you qualify. So if you do this on your own and you ask, you ask a vendor, what do I need to qualify? They're going to say, fill out this application, sir or ma'am, and we will tell you if you qualify. <laughs> so we give you the underwriting guidelines before you apply so that you're not just wasting time, throwing darts at vendors to see whether or not they're gonna report the, the payments to the credit lines, to the trade, to the business credit reports, okay? And a lot of times we got the apply button right on the page, okay? Here goes one of my clients, Christine. She's not the normal client. She got all of these approvals in six months and did not use her social. Comprende, Sprint 2000, Amazon 4500, Tractor Supply 5000, Exxon 5000, Few Man Fleet 6000, BP 7000, BP 8, um, Lowe's 10,000, Apple 12.5, Shell 15. Whew. Look at this list. It's over $250,000 of business credit. Now, not everybody could do this as fast as she did, okay? She's a stay-at-home mom. Her, her husband's a truck driver, so she's at home all day doing business credit. That's why she's able to do it as fast as she did it. But you can take as much time as you want to and still get the same results using the steps I provided to you. Step-by-step -step process, no skipping steps. Each step, each step is needed for the next step. Right? Okay, so you also get 
your business credit advisor who gives you concierge service for 12 months. You get your own finance officer. So once you build up your business credit, then the finance officer lines up all the different situations that we have for your business that you qualify for and will help you even apply. We'll negotiate the terms for you, okay? Okay, here goes a quick summary and we're gonna get out of here. You get your own business finance suite control panel, discounted business credit reports, free Dunn's number, uh, free experience smart business access, largest supply of starter vendors, massive selection of revolving store credit, hard to find cash credit sources, access to, to uh, cash flow, collateral base, unsecured and private money sources. This will typically take you 18, 24 months if you do this on your own, all right? With us, it, it should take you about 12 months, but like I said, everybody does this at their own pace right? But you can do it within 12 months respectfully. And um, another thing I want to tell you is that business credit ain't just go, let's go run and go get some money. It's like, it's built so that when your business needs funding, you have access to it. Or you can plot and strategize how you're going to set up your business with business credit. Okay. Now, I have two packages that I offer to small businesses and entrepreneurs, the core package and the business credit building program. The difference in the two is the core package is what I explained to you. You get your own control panel with the advisors and the step-by-step -step cons consult consulting in the system and you check off each one. It goes all this detail, right? The business credit building program is a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me for one year, okay? Now, you won't have access to the, to the system or the advisors or the vendors, but I will. And I'm going to guide you each step along the way, all right? So the core package, you can get started today as a part of this seminar, and you can get started with a huge discount on your premier enrollment plan. This plan usually goes for $4,400. My price is $2,995. Because you came to a, a webinar, you can get $500 off, and you can pay that balance off in one or two ways. You could put $1,500 down and make six payments of $165, or you can make a single payment of $2,250 and save you $750. All right, that's a good one. That's the best plan right there for the people that's going to need to buy big, high price items. All right. Um, the one on one consultation. This is a one-on-one -on -one consultation with myself for one year. And I walk you through every single step, right? This one goes for 2,500 in the retail market, but my price is only 995. You can make a $400 deposit and make three payments of 195, or you can make a single payment of 750 and save you $250 right there off the, rip, off the rip. Now, the single payment options are only good if you um, set up your consultation today, which means going to businesscreditbuilder.us slash consult and schedule your consult within the next few days. So schedule your consult today and get access to the single payment option. Save you money. All right. Um, the best item is the core package with the finance team. The most economical way to do it is to do the one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. And I have access to the system with the vendors and the advisors. And I'm going to walk you step by step 
through building up your business credit. Okay? Also, there's a lot, there's a lot of information. If you can't afford, afford none of that, there's a lot of information for free at my blog, businesscreditbuilder.us slash blog. Or you can go to any one of my social media pages and find up a whole bunch of information. We put information every week on our social media and in the blogs. Just about every week. Okay. Are there any questions I can entertain before we get out of here? I know I didn't went over the time just a little bit. There goes my contact info. Uh, Miss Williams, you said you're gonna have some more questions for me. Malik, you got a question? What up? Uh, no. All right, that's what's up. I appreciate everybody for coming. Um, if y'all are watching this on YouTube or any other social medias, make sure you click the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like buttons for Facebook, Twitter, and all that type of stuff. And uh, that's how we do it. What up? I thank everybody for coming and uh, putting up with me for this long amount of time. But I hope y'all got something out of it. Was it was it worth it to sit around? What up? Cool, yeah. Les? All right, Les. I appreciate that, Les. Les giving me the thumbs up and whatnot. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, no more questions? What's up? No questions? I know this is complicated. I went through this thing kind of fast now. All right. I appreciate everybody for coming. And uh, if there's no questions, you can put them in the uh, in the chat room. Um, you can open up your mic and chat chat a little bit if you want. What up? What's popping? <laughs> Was the information worth worthwhile? Did did you learn something? Did you did you know everything already? Is this just what? All good? All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. I appreciate y'all for coming. And uh, see y'all next week. We do this once a week. Every Wednesday, about 6, six o'clock and 7 o'clock, we're doing something. So check out um, the events page on the website. And uh, check out all the, the social media stuff, all right? Y'all have a good night. Peace.